Bitcoin's back! Bitcoin's back! Welcome to the morning cryptos. Mm -hmm. This is Mark Shepard and uh, this is your morning cryptos. We're going to look at uh, Bitcoin, we're going to look at Ethereum, we're going to look at Dash, we're going to look at Litecoin and possibly Monero and I will get you in and out in hopefully 10 minutes or less. If I could keep from flapping my lips too much philosophically. So, Bitcoin, as as I have been mentioning to you, <laughs> it goes up and it takes a little step back. But look at this, looky, looky, looky. Uh, it's, uh, it's got some, it seems like it has some legs here. It seems like it's got support at 4,000. Uh, let's just look at the support at 4,000. And you can see that it, you know, it has a little, a little, uh, a little basement, little, little support. Yeah, support. Yeah, it's that support thing. As you mentioned, that it has supported four thousand. Yes, and uh, so again, you don't want to get in when it's moving up, people. And and I, you know, I think most of my audience are fairly new to this and. Uh, so that's why I keep saying that, um, and uh, sorry, I'm not doing this very well because I still my coffee is not hitting my veins yet here. Mm. Wow, it's like 6:44 a.m. Jesus, I'm up early. And that was done without an alarm clock, people. Whoa. you know you're getting old when you just wake up. All right, so on the hours. You can see, uh, you know, it worked its way down. There was a narrow trading range down. And then it dropped. And then it found its support actually more around 3,600. Ooh, that's scary, right? But there was support there. And up it came. All right. So in the 30s, it's grinding up again. I like Bitcoin. It just takes freaking forever for stuff to go through the system. Um, but see, people don't care about that. They only know about Bitcoin, right? This is, again, if we're talking hypnosis, the general population is just now starting to be aware of Bitcoin. So uh, they don't understand the nuances and they don't understand all the, the 1200 other currencies that are available. All right, so let's go to Ethereum and we will talk about other currencies in the future now that I've gotten pretty much the crypto cranking episode out of my life. We're going to go back to the basics and the fundamentals. The fundamentals. Ethereum just keeps, uh, I got to make this chart a little smaller so I can there we go. get my perspective. Yeah, so we were trading in a range here, and we broke out of the range, and now we have a, it looks like we may be setting up, you know, another range. So it seems like Ethereum's moving up, but it's doing so at a less sudden, less rapid pace. That's all. You know, it, it moved really fast, and it, its little balloon got popped, and but it's right back at it. So I'm still, I think... Ethereum is still a good buy, and I still think you could get in. It's going to go to 400, and it's at 321 right now, uh, and it's a little down from its most recent, uh, you know, high on the one hour. So not a bad time to get in. And again, on the 30 minutes, it's moving up, but it, you know, it's it's about halfway back to its 30 minute high. And on the one minute. Not a bad time to get in. So, uh, I'm liking Ethereum, people. <laughs> I might buy a little more today. Let's see, Dash. Dash has really got some legs. It's, it wants to go higher. 
higher and higher. Go dash go. Go dash go. And this one, I was just really pleased with this trade because I was able to get out of it around here in the 270s, 279, something like that. And then I got back in on this on this down day because I was like, I think it might go more. And I, so I got back into dash. For me, that's really the philosophy that I'm trying to play with here is that I can get in and get out and and never, ever think, oh, I missed it. There's never a missed opportunity, right? You just you can't get them all. There's so many opportunities. So you got to kind of pick and choose. And um, I want to tell a really quick story while I'm looking at Dash here. And that is one day I was in California. This was years ago. And we went to a place where they do hang gliding. And all the hang gliders were all put together. And they were all standing around talking. And nobody was hang gliding. And I was kind of looking around like, nobody's hang gliding. What's the deal? And about a half hour, 40 minutes later, all of a sudden, they all took off. Because the conditions weren't right yet. And then they were right. And then they were experienced hang gliders. They knew when it was time to take off, right? And so, uh, and then they, they flew down the beach. And then they flew back and landed. It was like really cool to see them be able to control that so much. And that's what you and I are doing. We have to figure out. And we have to know these markets enough, which is why I'm only playing with like four or five of them. Because I don't, I think it would be dangerous for me to get scattered between like 50. I may be able to handle a few more, but um, it's knowing when to get in and knowing when to get out, right? And that's where the experience comes in. And you're not going to get the experience until you make some mistakes, until you kind of jump in and see what happens and to notice your emotions uh, I had a really close friend who has, was, has been just chasing the Bitcoin. Like, oh, I got to get Bitcoin. I got to get Bitcoin. Meanwhile, a week went by and Bitcoin like went way up in price. And then he jumps in, right? Ow. So anyway, that's my, my blah, blah. You knew I had to have a little blah, blah. All right. And uh, Dash is looking good on the one hours. Not a bad time to get in. It's an upward... Uh, trading range here and it's not too crazy um, on a 30 minute not the best time to get in right you want to get in when it's kind of down here but it's it, you know if you if you want to jump in there's a little down minute or down 30 minute you can get in it's just about finding the moment to get in and and we don't, as little guys, we don't have control even when the trades or, or the exchanges are executed. That's why you want to be, you want to get in as down as you can, you know, given the conditions of whatever's going on. Um, because if you keep, if you just try to always buy something on sale, a little bit on sale, uh, that will benefit you in the long run. Okay. Pretty obvious stuff. But. I like talking about it, you know what I mean? No, no one will talk to me about this in my hometown, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, here's my little girlfriend, Litecoin. Oh, Litecoin, Litecoin, what you gonna do today? You cannot ask for a prettier damn chart. Just, what a sweet little chart. Sweet little chart. Sweet little light coin um yeah what can i say we have a one two three four five a quintuple top here if you count the big one as a top All right it's not perfectly aligned around here but look at the resistance it's at 50 so that's our next move and then once we kind of establish ourselves at 50 then the next move is up here at 55, and then 60, and then 65. And get into this market, people. I am so bullish on Litecoin. And, uh, of course, obviously, it's your money. You do what you want with it. I'm not giving you advice, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I really like Litecoin, and I think it's going to pop. Every time I've seen this pattern, Every single time I've seen the sideways pattern, uh, there's been a move, uh, and usually a pretty significant one. So we'll see if the news can catch up. And Litecoin is so fast, people. When when you do a thing with Litecoin, boom, boom. You know, 
Exchange like Dash for Litecoin. Boom, it happens really fast. It's nice. Exchange uh, Bitcoin for Ethereum, and it takes all fucking day. All right? That is a fundamental of a market, right? The hype only goes so far, and then is this something we can use? Is this something that has value in a lot of different ways, not just as a cryptocurrency? Hmm. All right, so the hours, not a good time to get in if you're looking for the best price. Um, but it'll be, you know, this is this is an up and a down thing. So if you wait a couple hours, <laughs> it'll probably come back down a little bit towards, you know, you can see where the lines are in the range. It's going to go up and down through this range. Just know that the bottoms are consistently higher than uh, than the previous ones, and the tops are about the same. So here's a top. You it still wants to go to 50. So you you could still make a couple of bucks here if you got in here, but it, it's the it doesn't seem like it's going to break today. I could be wrong. <laughs> so you probably have some time to wait till it comes back a little bit down. Um, takes a breath. I think of this as breathing. When it breathes in, it goes up, and when it breathes out, it comes down. Right? So, like a Litecoin, just take your time getting into it. Um, see if you can get in on a down moment. But it is going up. It's going up from below, and it's there is pressure. And I don't know what's holding Litecoin down. Um, I tried watching some talks by Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin, the former Coinbase uh uh, designer, engineer, or whatever they do, computer guy, wizard, genius. And uh, the guy has like no personality is what I can tell, right? So is that what's holding the coin back, the personality of the guy who created it? I don't think so. Like, who cares? I mean, the beauty of Bitcoin is was this invisible guy, Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, and uh, sometimes mystery is preferable to the... Uh, the clay of the human experience. <laughs> so anyway, that's Litecoin. Um, liking it. Let's quickly go to Monero, which I'm hearing more and more about. So Monero is doing really, really well. It's quite the mover and shaker here, and it's um, it's a highly uh, cryptic cryptocurrency in that um, it can be extremely private. And so... The rumors have it, of course, that organized crime and drug dealers are using it. And that's one of the main things that the, you know, the mainstream media throws at stuff like this. They dismiss things by saying, oh, it's, you know, it's for, it's for thieves and criminals. And the reality is <clears throat> the biggest thief and the biggest criminal is our governments. And, and this goes for pretty much every country. Um, and, and this is my philosophical bent. So, just, you know, it's okay if you have a different opinion. But I just, the way I see it is we we are being fucked up the ass by our governments. And uh, if, if a currency can help us protect ourselves and cut the government out of their, of their extortion, I think it's a good thing, <laughs> right? That's not the mass media's uh, purpose. The mass media's purpose is to keep everybody anxious, and in line and taking their meds, right? <clears throat> and eating the crap food that comes in boxes that the food industry pushes, right? So, <laughs> so Monero is, is, <clears throat> is rocking. And um, I just decided I'm going to sign up for Poloniex uh, because when Monero comes back, and I'm not going to get into it now because it's, it's moving too fast, but it's literally over, it's more than doubled, right? And just for educational purposes, let's look at the pattern, right? Sideways trading range, right? And then look at the, the most recent range where the bottoms are higher right 
the tops stayed the same. Let's squeeze it down here. Does that look like Litecoin? Does that look like Dash? Does that look like Bitcoin before it broke? Yeah, it does. So when you see this pattern, people, pay attention. It is probably, for me, if you, if you just traded this one pattern and stayed out of the market except when you saw a sideways upward trending pattern, you would probably make a lot of money. And we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm working it. I've let go of the crypto cranking programs, the, uh, the money for nothing, chicks for free idea. Um, on the one hours, Monero, obviously there's some, it doesn't go straight up. Wow, look, there are places you could get in. Look at all these little retracements. You could have gotten it in. You could have gotten on in. You could have gotten in. A lot of new, new, new sounds. Uh, and look at on the 30s. Plenty of places to get in, and but again, it's moving up. So, you know, don't be chasing. That's what I say to my the men that I coach. Don't be chasing the women. <laughs> you know, don't be chasing all the time. Sometimes let, let the women chase you. Um, the markets are not going to chase you, though, so you have to be the active, the active engager. All right, so that's it for the Morning Cryptos, people. Thank you for taking a little bit of your time and just looking at these with me. I think it's sometimes it's helpful to hear what somebody else has to say, and um, it helps me to talk stuff out and to know what I'm going to do, and today... Uh, I might pick up a little bit of Litecoin, and uh, I'm going to do a video probably a little bit later about something that is way better than any high-yield investment program or hype, <laughs> but it has one big drawback. It has something called WORK in it, so check that out and see what you think. I'm going to be exploring it, and... Uh, That'll be kind of uh, my next video, and uh, stay safe out there, people. Uh, let's not be lemmings. Let's not be sheep. Let's let's be wolves today. Let's today, you know. Let's be a wolf. Be a wolf today. Be the wolf of the cryptos today in your own world, and see how that goes. All right. My name is Mark Shepard, the Singing Hypnotist, and I am exploring the hypnosis of money. And it's a 90-day challenge, and this has been, this is day 24 of my challenge. Uh, this is the first video of day 24. I don't know if I'll do more, but I'm going to probably do more, and, and, and I hope you have a great day. And that was it. That was the boring cryptos. The coffee's starting to hit me, and I'm starting to wake up, and I think that's really good to wake up and be ready to go. Please, someone, start the, the start the music. <laughs> Bye-bye, people. Mmm. Ah, that's better.